we are today at sea on an AIMS research vessel to characterize the optical properties of the Van Diemen Gulf. The Van Diemen Gulf um, compromises of a range of different habitats. Um, there are salt marshes, muddy flats, there are sandy beaches, there are also mangroves and sea grasses. Um, and they all support different um, species that, for instance, are also protected under the Commonwealth EPPC Act. So monitoring water quality is really important to get an understanding uh, about changes and, and what, what is changing in terms of the refugia for, for these habitats. With the increased pressure from population and pressures also from terrestrial runoff and climate change, the coastal zone is under a lot of pressure. The objectives of the project are to assess the connectivity with the catchments, assess the freshwater extent into the Van Diemen Gulf and look into the variability of the water quality. We use remote sensing techniques to map the coastal water quality in the Van Diemen Gulf. So remote sensing is a cost-effective tool because the ocean color data is freely available and it provides us with a synoptic overview for water quality monitoring. The satellite measures color from space and we try to compare and match this with the color that we directly measure at the sea. And the methods that we developed for water quality are applicable for Darwin Harbour or any other region around Australia. Water quality information can be provided to key government agencies as a monitoring tool.